In 2015, a published hair tutorial inspired by Marc Jacobs' spring fashion show of 2015 had the internet up in arms. A beauty blog called Main Addicts had the nerd mm-hmm. to reference Bantu knots as twisted mini buns. And they toted this as the newest style, the latest craze, when we all know Bantu knots have been worn as a protective style by black women for decades. So now fast forward to 2022, <clears throat> lip gloss with brown lip liner has been the go-to for black and Latina women for eons. I remember being in high school and lining my lips with brown lip liner and putting on clear lip gloss because I wasn't allowed to like really wear bright colors in school. So I was only allowed to wear lip gloss. So that black or brown liner was life for a lot of us who weren't allowed to wear reds and pinks and things like that to school. So I find it very funny that this is now being toted as the hottest trend on TikTok. Hello and welcome back to Lovely TTV. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Mm. Haley Bieber, aka Haley Baldwin, before she got married to Justin Bieber, was born in 1996. She's an American model, media personality, and a socialite. She's been featured in major ads like Guess, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, just to name a few. Haley and Justin Bieber first were romantically linked back in 2015 when Justin and Selena Gomez took a break. He had been dating Selena Gomez off and on since 2011. (laughs) Justin and Haley ended up getting back together in 2018 after he officially split from Selena for the last time. A year later, the two of them got married and they have been married ever since. So right now, Haley Bieber is currently trending all over social media because she's being accused of cultural appropriation over her latest invention called the brownie glaze lip, okay? So she did a tutorial, and she talked about how she loved this really simple, chic look. And, you know, all she did was take brown lip liner, um, you know, the same lip liner that many women of color have been using for years. She lined her lips with them threw on some clear gloss, and oh my God, shocker, it is now called the brownie glaze. And it is now the latest trend on TikTok. So a lot of people are screaming foul. A lot of people are accusing her of cultural appropriation and saying that this look has been used by women of color since the 90s. She didn't invent anything new. Now let's be clear. Haley never said that she invented the makeup trend. But of course, Twitter and TikTok users are definitely calling her out because she's not giving any type of credit to where she got that trend from. The look was really favored back in the 90s by women in the Latino and the black community, and they've been doing this for over 20 years. One Twitter user took to Twitter to say this, I'm crying because she took a lip combo that black and Latino women have been wearing since the 90s and named it the brownie glazed lip. To make it sound cute. LOL. Like if you're going to try and make something trend, the least you can do is give it credit from where you got the inspo. Other people on social media talked about the racial discrimination. Um, They felt like Haley is receiving praise for a makeup trend that women of color were once criticized for. So one Mm -hmm. user even wrote, the fact that Haley Bieber just wore brown lip liner and clear gloss and the white girls are going crazy over it. Honey, Latinas and black women been hip, but y'all called us ghetto for it. Now, let's be fair. Like I said before, Haley didn't claim to invent this. She just named it the brownie glaze. She didn't say that she invented it, but let's keep it real. The only reason why this is trending is because she's what society deems as palatable. She's society's high standard of beauty. She's thin. She's a model. She's attractive. And most importantly, she's white. So everything she does somehow becomes noteworthy. You know, no matter how basic it is, it's like the next best thing since sliced bread. And she's not the only one who benefits from this. We've seen this with the Kardashians, especially Kylie Jenner. You know, the lip kits, the outfits. Black and Latina women been thick, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't seen as attractive until you had white women like Kim Kardashian going out and getting plastic surgery. And what's very funny now is that years later, now they're sucking out all the fat and they're trying to look like regular white women again. Kim has lost a tremendous amount of weight and so has Chloe. So I find that very interesting that now they're kind of going back to their roots, but the way that they got on was being a so-called anomaly. You know, a thick white girl with a big butt. That's what really put the Kardashians on, you know, besides the sex tape with Ray J. Let's not forget also when Kim Kardashian, you know, decided to braid her hair back in 2018 and a lot of news articles called it the Bo Derek braids. 
you know, because Bo Derek wore them in the 70s and, and they gave her the accolades of making braids a cultural craze. While Bo Derek's total look is next to impossible to duplicate, her hairstyle in the movie 10 has sparked a whole new craze in hair fashion. And the idea seems to be catching on in San Diego. Becoming a 10 is no easy feat. It's a painstaking process, taking anywhere from four to eight hours to complete. It's just a slow process. You have to take tiny sections of the hair and make sure they're all equally. You have to keep your tension equal, especially in the cornrowing right up in here. The tension has to be just right to keep it in, and it has to be equal to make it look natural. The most tedious part of the process is making the braids thin enough to slide beads up the shaft of the braid. The 10 hairdo is one of the more expensive hairstyles around. The average price in San Diego, from $25 to $50 an hour. Brenda's 10 will take four and a half hours to finish. She feels the $150 tab is well worth it. It's a lot of fun to have, to wear, and um, it's, you don't have to take much care of it. It's freedom not to take care of your hair, too. You know, you just can wash it and just let it go, whereas, you know, I'd have to work with it before. I wasn't sure if I could handle the attention that this hairdo attracts. I just wasn't that confident in myself, so I decided I would go halfway, and it's been a lot of fun. But these braids are not called the Bo Derek braids. These are cornrows. These are braids that have been worn by women of African descent for centuries. So it's, it's just very interesting, the conversations that are going on on social media. But a lot of people are not feeling this at all. They've been worn by black women for decades. And I think the most insulting part is that in certain points in history, black women were banned from wearing braids to work or to school. So not to see these trend and, and to see people being able to monetize the same thing that you could be penalized and fired for, it's very frustrating to a lot of people. So I want to go ahead and show you guys some of these clips of what people are saying on social media. Go ahead and check this out. Lily Bieber just shared her go-to fall lip combo, and she's calling it brownie glazed lips. <laughs> no, because y'all are fucking hypocrites. Look at this comment right here. Look at the date. Y'all shit on my lips every single time I post. But a white woman does it. It's going to become a trend. It's going to be praised upon. And yeah, I'm so flattered that Hailey Bieber always gets inspired by my community, by the POC community. <laughs> but it just irks me that because she's done it now, it's going to become so trendy. And all the people that told me that these lips were ugly are exactly the ones that are going to fall behind that. If you didn't know, there's a new lip concussion in town called brownie glaze lips i am excited to try it basically you need a brown lip liner but let me shock you with this one a clear lip gloss in the middle wow wow oh wow this is innovative i have never seen it before obsessed my goodness oh my goodness i love it what do you guys think a brown glazed lip so i'm called ghetto when i do it but when a white girl does it she's not like i get i'm not that tan but i'm still a latina so i'm gonna show you guys how to actually do the proper brownie glazed lip so the reason why we would wear such dark lip liner with gloss is because beauty brands didn't have the exclusivity or right colors for our skin tone. It was all about the Barbie pinks that don't look good with our olive slash yellow toned skin, skin tones. So we would resort to eyeliners and eyebrow pencils. So you're gonna grab a really dark lip liner cause now we have more inclusivity. You're gonna line these sides of your lip and then try to make the arch really prominent. Just like this. And then you're gonna do that to the bottom. Don't blend, add your favorite gloss. And that's how a Latina does it. Bieber just shared her go-to fall lip combo and she's calling it brownie glazed lip. I'm not during Latinx Heritage Month, baby. Not now. You know, growing up Latina, specifically Afro-Latina, except we didn't have a term for it back then, I was raised to hate absolutely everything about my natural features. From the way my hair literally grows out of my head, I have 3C curls, you can't see them because they're in braids to the way my lips are naturally lined, darker on the outside, lighter on the inside. 
The media, my community, everything around me had me believing that my proximity to whiteness determined my worthiness and whether I was beautiful or not. So I remember being a kid on my hands and knees every night, praying to the Lord that my hair would just grow differently out of my head so I could be considered beautiful because I'd be closer to whiteness. Ain't that some shit? So sure, it's a little flattering that todos quieren ser Latino now, but you know what? Not with us out of the equation. You can't remove us from the narrative of what we created and what you deemed ghetto back in the day. All right, so you guys just saw some of the commenters on TikTok. So I passed the conversation over to you guys. What do you guys think about all this? Do you think people of color are overreacting once again? Or are you tired of basic trends being repurposed by white influencers? And then it gets hailed as being the next big thing when people in minority communities have been doing it for years. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe, share the video, and hit the like button. Have a good day. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.